Hi, hello, my name is Robin Lambert, I'm 17 years old and living with cerebral palsy, but you guys know me as the T-Rex and you're watching My T-Rex Life. Um, so it's finally happened, I have finished high school, everything is wrapped up, finished and done. Um, I went to my final awards night at school yesterday, managed to pick up highest achievement in um, phys ed studies and um, runner up in human biology, so that was pretty sweet to leave with that but yeah it's um probably the last time i'm gonna like officially visit my high school in the uniform and everything um so yeah now that high school is all done and dusted today i wanted to talk about people's reactions when i tell them what i want to study at university next year um now that high school is finished and everything's complete I think I've finally settled on, well university offers are still to come out so things might change but I think I've finally settled on what I sort of want to um, study and where I want to go with my career and stuff and that is broadcasting. Um, now when I tell people that uh, you know I finished high school and I want to go to university next year and um, study broadcasting I get two kinds of reactions. Um, the first reaction is from people that have usually known me for a while or have come to know me because of things like sort of outside my disability and they're sort of like, oh yeah, you know, that's awesome. I can totally see you doing that. You have the personality, you know, your interests and things like, you know, uh, like clothes and, and like TV and documentaries and, you know, video making and stuff that like that makes sense like we can see you doing that we can see you being in front of a camera or whatever um, and presenting different things you know and all that and they're like super supportive and you know they, they seem to just see me in that kind of role um, which is really cool and then the next type of reaction I get is usually from people that have come to know me first because I have a disability or they don't really know me that well um, and they sort of tend to be in the like medical profession or yeah, sort of know me from that kind of um, like perspective. And um, they're sort of like, when I tell them like, oh, what are you doing next year? You know, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna go and study broadcasting. They're like, oh, oh, wow, uh, good on ya. You know, it's like this kind of surprise and this, I don't know, it's a little bit awkward because it's like, they're, they're shocked and um, you know they can't picture me doing that but they don't want to be like oh you know and I think the reason that that is and the reason that they're so surprised is that someone like me would want to go into that field is because you know even though they might have interactions with disabled people on a daily basis and see all different kinds of people or uh, they you know whatever whatever kind of you know interactions they have with me um, you know, they still have these perceptions in their head of what it means to have a disability and what a person with a disability uh, is like that they can't see, you know, they, they can't see someone like me being a presenter and actually, you know, making it in the big, wide, scary world of, you know, entertainment. Um, and, you know, I think it's kind of crazy that, you know, it's 2015 and for me to say that I want to be a broadcaster is such a big surprise to people. Um, but it just shows you, you know, they they still don't see people with disabilities as having um, sort of unique personalities or, you know, being like extroverted and wanting to put themselves out there and um, that kind of stuff. Or like, you know, being interested in, you know, current <laughs> things like, you know, clothes, fashion, music, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, everyone, or like a lot of teachers, like even, like now that I've come to know my teachers a lot better, like even they, you know, can see that, you know, broadcasting would be something that's good for me, but like a lot of teachers when you first talk to them and like uh, a lot of other people like assume that I was going to go into something like occupational therapy or physiotherapy because like I want to help other people like me and that would just be like my natural calling and you know to be honest you know I have considered that and that is on my preferences and one of the reasons I do want to do broadcasting is so that I can um you know hopefully be a role model for young people with disabilities and you know show people that you know 
there are so many unique and interesting and cool people with disabilities and you know there should be more media representation for like you know the biggest minority in the world um but yeah anyway i just i just thought it was interesting and you know i've been analyzing it a lot lately because obviously it's been a conversation that's been happening quite a lot now that i've just finished high school like you know what are you gonna do with your life <laughs> um so yeah hit me up in the comments down below um, about what you want to do when you finish school and how people react to that um, and if you think it's diff and if you think it's different because you have a disability and people might see you in a certain way um, you know as maybe being shy and introverted and doing something you know normal I guess um, so anyway yeah hit me up and stay shiny guys because I love you.